members of the Board of Education, Mr. Ketchum, members of the class of 1970, parents, relatives, friends, and members of the graduating class of 2020. On behalf of the faculty and staff of Batesville High School, I welcome you to the 110th commencement exercises of the Batesville Community School Corporation. We are fortunate and proud to have four members of the class of 2020 who have enlisted in our armed forces. Please stand and join. Axel Garcia, National Guard. Clara Lecker, Air Force. Jonah Chase, Navy. Caden White, United States Navy. As they lead our commencement ceremony in our Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. It is my pleasure to introduce BHS senior Carrie Rear as she sings our national anthem. So proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming. And the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star spangled Thank you, Carrie, and thank you to Jonah, Axel, Claire, and Caden for stepping forward and accepting the call to serve our country. Admittedly, this speech was written after seeking perspective, excessive procrastination, and prayer. Seeking the appropriate words in any graduation speech is difficult under normal circumstances, but the oddities surrounding how the 2019-2020 school year concluded are only magnified when speaking into a camera instead of a gym with close to 2,000 spectators with a keen focus on our graduates. The following reflection will not include overused terms such as unprecedented or new normal, essential or non-essential, nor will it pretend to offer a substitution for how you envisioned the conclusion of your senior year. Each of you had anticipated at least one springtime experience. In reality, there are likely multiple, all unique to being a senior. Knowing as you watched prior groups, it would only get better once it was your turn. No one could have imagined that on Friday, March the 13th, the date itself full of irony, our school year would have concluded in a manner where the many experiences within weeks would soon be canceled one by one. As those decisions were made, a familiar quote once given in a presentation by Troy Turner representing Hillenbrand during a KSLA Leadership Development Day began and would continue to resonate. The only thing we control is our response. The process to become a graduate of Batesville High School involves a series of experiences, relationships, events, and academic achievement. Although each high school has a culminating event such as commencement, it is natural for graduates, both newly minted today and those celebrating their 50-year milestone from the class of 1970, to reflect on the experiences and relationships, much more so than a singular event or academic achievement. The first step in this series was the adjustment you made to being a senior. Being a senior accepts the responsibility of being asked to establish a building culture while also having the eyes of your schoolmates, otherwise known as freshmen, look to you with first with trepidation, but gradually as a source of leadership. Your experiences and relationships helped you strategically create a schedule, 
so that you could have the correct class off campus, resulting in more sleep than those with on-site B1 or W1, an extended lunch, an off-campus SRT, or an early end of the school day. Your experiences and relationships helped you say goodbye, somewhat gladly, to last year's seniors as they moved on to other ventures. You were then tasked with welcoming them back, albeit sometimes reluctantly, when they returned to what was now your turf as seniors. You graduate Batesville High School as a two-time defending men's homecoming pep rally powder puff dance routine champion. Your female classmates, understandably, utilized the load management strategy during the powder puff game played in a driving rainstorm as they anticipated championship Saturday. Again, the cheerleaders provided what you considered to be entertainment. It was the next day where Batesville High School, led by our seniors, captured four sectional titles in one day, first sweeping the cross-country sectional event at Morse Hill, moving on to winning the boys' soccer sectional at Rushville, and capping off a most successful Saturday with the girls' soccer sectional championship at Greensburg. These experiences came to define our fall season and would set the tone for the rest of the school year. It was later in the fall semester where due to past experiences, successes, and form relationships through our fine arts department, an additional performance was encouraged to occur in January based upon available talent and participation rates. From the insertion of the 24-hour play through the need to add an additional performance, the class of 2020 has raised not only the overall quality of the drama program, but the commitment level of those on both sides of the curtain. It is these experiences, and there are countless more, which remain personal to each of you. That first started because of relationships, would later be utilized to form new relationships and would become the lasting memories of your high school experience. Beginning with your fifth grade year, the Batesville Community School Corporation enacted its own 2020 vision. Contained within this vision was a full implementation of one-to-one -one computing, completed renovations of Batesville High School, and a high school honors academy that would later encompass comprehensive curriculum options at Ivy Tech. This 2020 vision was created as a framework to guide your experience through your time in our school corporation. At the time, many formed opinions on one-to-one -one computing. The opinions were in no way uniform, but the goal remained to enhance educational outcomes for all Batesville students. Little did we know that this group of fifth grade students scheduled to graduate in the far off year of 2020 would help lead the delivery of a high school education pivoting from an on-site dual campus format into a fully remote experience. Going back to the quote from Mr. Turner, the only thing we can control is our response, has been cited as one of the guiding principles for this temporary format. With what little was left in your control, you rallied and accepted responsibility to lead our collective response. This act above all else proves that regardless of name, location, delivery system, or structure utilized by a high school, the senior class will always establish the culture of the building. As you move from student to alumni status, the emotions of this most abrupt end to a school year are both real and appropriate. Consider, however, the many answers discovered to often ask questions such as, when will we ever use this again? Or is e-learning the same or better than face-to-face -face instruction? The professional world you enter will utilize the connectivity provided by Google Hangout, Zoom, etc. To put this reality in perspective, we didn't even allow Google Hangout until after spring break. This is a resource we should have implemented long ago and developed skills towards proper usage throughout your high school career. In this format, we relied on Google Hangouts for necessary connectivity and quickly learned the skill to mute upon entering a meeting. The skill to unmute, however, when you speak remains in the developmental phase. The last two months have answered some levels of uncertainty as to the effectiveness of e-learning. To be certain, the efforts of those listening today, and that includes our students, teachers, parents, and community partners has enabled each of us to make the best of this temporary environment. What quickly became apparent, however, is the value all of us at times took for granted and the daily relationships developed, nurtured, and expanded within our walls. Your teachers lamented the barriers technology created not for instruction, as this could be overcome, but rather for continued relationship building. The correct responses to questions on any type of assessment will be the same regardless of format. How we learn those correct responses and develop both verbal and written strategies, express fully supported opinions, evolve best through the natural teacher and student and peer-to-peer -peer relationships. Perhaps most importantly, perspectives on both sides of the great technology debate 
have evolved each finding a balance in our personal and professional lives. Many adults wonder, why are kids on their devices all the time? Students in return wonder, what's the big deal? And why does anyone care? The answer became readily apparent when we were forced into a societal environment known as a quarantine. Although technology is and will remain a part of our professional and personal lives, the activities most of us have rediscovered, likely with those watching with you today, have created experiences and refined relationships in a short span of two months. A board game, binge watching, euchre, renewed commitments to fitness, and a leisurely family stroll through our hometown streets are just as necessary as the technology powering both our personal and professional lives. It is my hope and a challenge to all that both remain a focal point in how we shape our lives beyond the 2019-2020 school year. On behalf of the faculty and staff at Batesville High School, I thank those who comprise the class of 2020 on leading our student body throughout all of this most unique school year. Now it is my pleasure to introduce Mr. Paul Ketchum, Superintendent of the Batesville Community School Corporation. Thank you, Mr. Allen. Good morning. It is with great pleasure today that we honor the Batesville High School Class of 1970, the second class to graduate from this very building. Fifty years ago, this fine group of men and women were certified as graduates of Batesville High School. And today, although not with us in person, are proud to help us celebrate the graduation of the Class of 2020. Members of the Class of 1970, I want to extend my personal thanks, and I look forward to seeing you next year at your 51st class reunion. To the Batesville High School Class of 2020, I want to wish you the best of luck in all your future endeavors. While deeply saddened for the things you have missed, I share the same level of excitement for the things you will experience and the things you will accomplish. A quote from British writer C.S. Lewis captures this sentiment best. He states, hardships often prepare ordinary people for an extraordinary destiny. Class of 2020, I have one final favor to ask of you. Throughout your life, I ask you to tell those you hold most dear what you appreciate about them. Do it daily. Say what you appreciate and be a difference maker every day, no matter your role. Now I am honored to introduce our speaker from the Batesville High School Class of 1970, Miss Elaine Copps Beadle. Upon graduating from Batesville High School, Elaine earned a Bachelor of Arts degree with a major in math from Hanover College and later earned an MBA with a finance emphasis from Butler University. She was appointed by Governor Holcomb in 2019 to serve as the first secretary and chief executive officer of the newly established Indiana Destination Development Corporation, a quasi-government agency focused on making Indiana a great place to live, to visit, to learn, and to earn. Prior to her recent appointment, she served as the president of the Indiana Economic Development Corporation, the state's lead economic development agency from 2017 through 2019. Under her leadership, the state had consecutive record-breaking years for new job commitments. Prior to serving the state, Elaine served as the president and chief executive officer of Beetle Financial Consulting Incorporated, a role held since she founded the company in 1989. Elaine and her husband, Eric, also a Batesville High School graduate, have been married for 42 years. They have two children and four grandchildren. Ladies and gentlemen, from the class of 1970 and forever a Bulldog, please welcome Miss Elaine Beadle. Congratulations to the class of 2020. You will forever be known as the pandemic class of Batesville High School. I'm Elaine Copps Beadle, and I'm proud to be representing the class of 1970. I can hear the groans already. It was 50 years ago. Yes, it was, but it seems just like yesterday. And we were known at the time as the second class to graduate from what we called the new Batesville High School. I know you've heard this a thousand times from your parents and your grandparents, but time passes very quickly. I am sure you're very disappointed not to be together on your special day, and we're disappointed that we can't be there to celebrate with you. Because of the pandemic, things are different right now, but this too will pass, but we may never be quite the same normal that we used to be. But maybe we don't need to be. Maybe we don't want to be normal again. Maybe we can make things better. 
We have all learned a lot about ourselves as we've had to hunker down Hoosier and social distancing. Sometimes you're forced to do something in a different manner and a different way than you've done it before. But maybe you find out that it's more effective, more efficient, or maybe even more fun. Sometimes in the midst of fear and chaos, opportunities arise. Mark my words, it will be innovation and the willingness to change that is our path forward. This pandemic is truly a unique experience for everyone, not just you, but it's an experience we all can learn from. It becomes part of our knowledge bank, just like every experience you've had in the past and all that you'll have in the future. Every decision that you make from this day forward will include the impact on you of this pandemic experience. Even with this foundation of knowledge and experience, it doesn't mean you will always be perfect in all of your future decisions. Even with decades of experience, you sometimes make a bad call. But even then, you know what you can do and you know what you've done in the past and it will help get you through. There is one important thought that I need to leave with you. With this graduation, you become a responsible adult. Now, I'm sure all of you were very responsible students, but now it's different. Whether you're continuing your education or beginning down the pathway of your life's work, you are responsible for every action and every decision. And it's awesome. You are now in control of your life. Every decision you make is your decision. Every choice you make is your choice. Now that doesn't mean you don't take advice from others. That's all part of the process as well. We wish you all nothing but good choices, but sometimes it will happen that you make a bad one. But that's on you too, and you will make mistakes. But the important thing to remember, you have the ability to get out of a bad situation by making the next good decision. Decisions become more and more important as time goes by, because at some point you may be making joint decisions that may not only impact you, but your whole family. I don't want you to miss any part of your great life because you didn't realize that you have the power and the control over yourself and all of your options. I tell this to everyone, if you hate your job, hit reset, and prepare to do something different. Life is too short to hate getting up in the morning to go to work. Make a plan for your future and don't let it get derailed. Sometimes you get handed a difficult situation. Just as Forrest Gump's mother said in the movie, life is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. But you, make, you can make the best of any situation because you are in control. Use all your experiences to make the right call because you don't want to look back a few decades from now and say, how did this happen to me? Rather, you wanna say, wow, look at what we've accomplished. What a great life we've had. Congratulations, you are a smart and determined group. You are just what the world needs now now is the time in chaos and fear and worry. This is your time to really shine. This is your time to make your mark. This is your time to take on all that life has to offer. There is very little that you can't do if you set your mind to do it. It's up to you to make a good life for yourself. And when you do, your family and will benefit and your community will benefit. In fact, you only have to look to the class of 1970 for examples of who shaped Batesville as well as other communities. Our class is filled with business, civic and community leaders, entrepreneurs, healthcare providers, teachers, volunteers, and many others who have made this city, the state, and this country a better place. Thank you, class of 1970, for allowing me to represent you. And while all my classmates are special, one happens to be my husband for over four decades now. Funny how things work out. And to the class of 2020, thank you for allowing us to be part of your special occasion, even though it's celebrated a little differently. But this one day doesn't really matter. 
you still have all your friends for a lifetime. You have a family that is very proud of you, and you've got a community that will continue to support you in every way. May you be loud, and may you be bulldog proud. And wherever life takes you, don't forget your roots. This is your home, and no matter where you roam, it always will be. Best wishes to you in all your future endeavors, and I can't wait to see the accomplishments of the class of 2020. But mark my words, 2070 will be here in no time. Congratulations again. Thank you. At this time, I present to you Miss Anna Moeller, salutatorian of the class of 2020. Good morning, class of 2020. It is so lovely to see you. Well, kind of. To start, I'd like to say congratulations. Congratulations to my fellow classmates who have put in the work all these years, and congratulations to the parents, teachers, and supporters whose aspirations for you are being fulfilled as they watch you succeed. Now, to address the elephant in the room, it is not every day the entire world is put on hold due to a global pandemic. As for our senior experience, I am a firm believer that everything happens for a reason. We may not realize it now, but we never suffer without a purpose. What may seem to be a setback at the time can turn out to be a blessing we would have never expected. Looking back, I'm able to understand why I have endured hardships over the years, for they have led me to where I am today. Each one of us has experienced loss, but through this struggle, we have been strengthened, both individually and as a class. While it is no secret, our senior year took a sharp turn for the unexpected. I can promise each of us will end up where we are meant to be. Because of this, I have learned to appreciate opportunities and experiences that are easy to take for granted, and I encourage you to embrace these blessings in your everyday life. These people, places, and activities that make you happy are what create worthwhile moments amid the chaos of mundane existence. So, let me ask you, are you just trying to scrape by, or are you taking advantage of all the opportunities this life has to offer you? Your future is uniquely your own, and your life is not meant to be ordinary. Each one of you has something you're passionate about, and I dare you to chase it. Whatever ignites a spark and fuels the fire inside your veins, chase that. It is much too easy to settle for an existence that leaves you feeling dull and empty. But the thrill you're craving is not out of reach. The life you are chasing is chasing you too. I don't know where you'll end up, but I trust that each of us will find our place. That being said, none of us really know what we're doing or what we're getting into. We are all going to make mistakes and fail sometimes, but it is important to remember it is never too late to start again. No matter what age you are or where you are in life, it is never too late. Continuing education, mending relationships, changing careers, finding a passion, it is never too late. Lastly, I invite you to remember the people who have supported you along the way and helped shape you into the person you are today. With as much hard work as we did to get here, we did not do this alone. The people in our lives who continually sacrifice and go to battle for us deserve the same level of commendation as each graduate does today. If there is anything I have learned from Disney's Frozen, it is that some people are worth melting for, and each of us have these people in our lives. Speaking for my graduating class and myself, we owe you a thank you. You have believed in us even when we did not believe in ourselves. Thank you to my family for your undying support, love, and devotion to helping me succeed. Thank you to my friends for staying by my side through the thick and thin. Thank you to my teachers for your dedication and continually pushing me to reach further and explore my limits. I am truly grateful for the opportunity to be speaking before you today, and I wish all of you the best of luck in your future endeavors. Congratulations once again to the graduating class of 2020, and may God bless you all. Now it is my honor to present you Miss Erin Bada, valedictorian of the class of 2020. 
Good morning, everyone, and thank you all for your support over the last four years. When I first started high school, there were two things I heard constantly from nearly every adult I knew. The first was that the next four years would be gone before we knew it, and that part was absolutely true. I couldn't even begin to argue with that. But the second and more troubling one, if you think about it, was that high school would be the best years of our lives. Put together, these two ideas form a pretty pessimistic mindset. If the best part of our lives is ending right now, then today would be quite a depressing day. We live in a culture entranced by youth to such an unreasonable extent that many people waste the second half of their lives wishing that they were still in the first. And if all the people who told us this were right, then this day would not be a celebration at all. But this idea is not true. If there is anything I wish for this senior class, is that it is that we do not fall into this depressing mindset. Each of us has the opportunity to make the most of every age we come to, rather than spending every moment from here on out wishing that we were younger than we really were. I don't believe there is a single age in life that doesn't have something both unique and good to offer. In our teens, it was high school, and for many, that is a great experience. But in our 20s, it could be getting college or a job or getting married or having first kids. In our 30s and 40s, it could be having families and careers. And after that, it could be having grandkids or traveling and on and on and on. Four years ago, at a retreat, I saw a video that really stuck with me and impacted my view of life. It was a video where people of all ages were asked how old they wished they were, if they could be any age at all. Those who were older always wished they were younger, whereas those who were younger wished that they could turn 16 or 18 or 21. They showed more people than I could count, expressing disappointment with the age that they were at and spending so much energy wishing for something that they couldn't have. Then at the end of the video, there was an old woman in her 80s who said that if she could be any age at all, it would be the one she is at right now. Seeing this made me realize how much happier we could all be if we just appreciated the best parts of every age we come to, just like this old woman. And with that idea in mind, this day is not at all a depressing one. In fact, it is quite the opposite. This is the day when we move on from one part of our lives and get to begin something completely new and make our lives what we want them to be. This is the day when we start deciding for ourselves what path we will take. This is the day when we acknowledge the past while looking forward to a future where we can be anything we want. And this is the day when we get to celebrate, not that we are finishing the best years of our lives, but that we are about to begin countless more of them. The four sons of Paula A. Grossman and Thelma C. Littmer established a scholarship fund in memory of their parents, who were Batesville's valedictorian and salutatorian of the class of 1959. At this time, I would like to welcome John Grossman, son of Paul and Thelma, who will present the scholarship. Thank you, Mr. Allen. Congratulations to the BHS class of 2020. It's my pleasure to be with you all today, even through a different medium this year. This is an event I look forward to every spring. Before I announce a couple of awards, a quick message to all the graduates this year. While recent events have definitely turned our lives upside down, and it's disappointing not to see everyone in person, my message to all of you would be this. Know that you all have bigger things yet to come in your lives. Yes, graduation is a big event to be celebrated. There's no denying that. But remember that this will not be the highlight of your life. Missing certain events toward the end of your high school career is difficult. And I understand that you have all handled it with a maturity that is appreciated. But you'll all have bigger things yet to come. Maybe it's college. Maybe it's serving our country. Could be starting your working career. Or for some, your highlight might be getting married and having children. To me, nothing has ever matched raising a family with my wife. So just know that while these times have been challenging, bigger things are in store for each of you. As I've had the pleasure to do since 1995, I'm here to present our valedictorian and salutatorian awards. My parents had that same recognition in the class of 1959, and it's an honor to remember them every year this way. The administration at Batesville High School has been kind enough to display a plaque in their offices with all the name, names of the winners. And so I'm happy to announce that the trustees of the Paul A. 
and Thelma C. Lamping Grossman Scholarship would like to award a $2,750 scholarship each to Aaron Bata and Anna Moeller. Thank you for this time and congratulations to Aaron and Anna. Mr. Ketchum and the Board of School Trustees, I present to you the class of 2020. As principal of Batesville High School, I certify that each of these young men and women with us today has completed the necessary requirements set forth by the Batesville Community School Corporation and the state of Indiana, making them eligible to receive these certificates and diplomas on this, the 30th day of May in the year 2020. At this time, it is my pleasure to introduce Student Council President Liz Heidledge, who will read the names of her classmates. Jonathan Price Adkins. Jonathan Glenn Alford. Rachel Lynn Amberger. Christian Xavier Anderson. Paige Elizabeth Ozenbaugh. Bryce Avery Banks. Corey Lucas Barrett. Connor James Batchelor. Aaron Elizabeth Bada. Anna Marie Bauer. Curtis Xavier Beal. Matthew Allen Bearden. Sierra Christine Belter. Lauren Elizabeth Bischoff. Caleb Michael Bischoff Niece. Abigail Lucille Blomer. Samuel Scott Bowman. Kiera Rose Brock. Dominic Norbert Butts. Cadence Dawn Campbell. Elizabeth Lynn Cassidy. Joseph Petrus Cernelia. Madison Nicole Chambers. Zachary Allen Chambers. Jonah Michael Chase. Brendan Daniel Connor. Adam Christopher Cox. Jacob Cruz. Catresa Nicole Davidson. Guy Bristol Davies. Abigail Marie Dennett. Rebecca Joanne Deputy. Jacob Lee Deutsch. Carlos Eduardo Dice. Anthony Michael Dickman. Sydney Bree Dieterland. Brian Patrick Doherty. Tabitha Hallie Drew. Joshua Roman Eckstein. Marshall Robert Isert. Benjamin Robert Enneking. Mason Sylvester Enneking. Lillian Kathleen Esser. Lucas John Esser. Christian Storm Foreman. Cody Lucas Frankie. Carson John Fulton. John Andrew Garbarini. Axel Garcia. John David Gollin. Seth Nathaniel Galsman. Victoria Renee Gaynor. Ashton Blake Geisen. Michaela Renee Gerdowski. Aaron Joseph Glaub. Mason Alexander Green. Kylie Marie Grody. Clayton Douglas Grunkemeyer. William Joseph Gutzwiller. Zachary Quinn Harmeyer. Kaylee Marie Harpering. Hannah Sue Harrison. Joseph Conrad Hartman. Jordan Isabella Harvey. Virgil Jacob Haskamp. Elise Rose Havercos. Elizabeth Catherine Heidledge. Justin Richard Heiser. Laura Ann Henready. Sally Catherine Hepner. Jonathan Scott Hoff. Alexander Brian Hoffbauer. Taylor Rose Hounce. Caleb Ronald Huffmeyer. Sydney Michelle Huffner. Jack Thomas Karowski. Abigail Savannah Kelly. Dual Malachi Kirby. Derek Nicholas Laker. Charles Joseph Lehman. Claire Marie Lecker. Braden Coy Linkle. Justin Thomas Linkle. 
Dawson Cole Lippard, Alex Connor Livers, Elizabeth Lynn Losinger, Bill Corin Keith Lynham, Haley Alexis Maybe, Callie Mackenzie May, Gwendolyn Marie Martin, Rebecca Ann Martz, Dylan Christopher Macbeth, Caleb Michael Macbeth, Chloe Lynn Meadows, Caroline Elizabeth Meir, Nicholas Joseph Meir, Shane Joseph Meir, Andrew Cole Meyer, Colt Garrett Meyer, Ethan James Meyer, Hunter James Meyer, Kayla Elizabeth Meyer, Kayla Hope Meyer, Trent Michael Miller, Anna Rose Moeller, Adam Sebastian Moster, Joshua Malcolm Myers II, Grace Louise Nixon, Hank Aaron Nobby, Jacob Lee Nobby, Nicholas Clarence Nobby, Paige Elizabeth Odell, Benjamin Matthew Obendorf, Manav Sandip Patel, Ainsley Winter Phipps, Abrielle Caitlin Clemens, Abigail Joyce Prickle, Ethan Cole Prickle, Kyle Logan Prickle, Macy Olivia Prickle, Miguel Angel Ramirez, Quinn Marlier Raznick, Carrie Josephine Rear, Hallie J. Rank, Isaiah James Riffle, Sarah Elizabeth Ronnebaum, Alexander Carl Roth, Corey Ray Ryan, Eric Villalobos Saldana, Charles Patrick Shaney, Sydney Elizabeth Schuette, Adam Marshall Scott, Vivian Love Schroeder, Cole Allen Siebert, Skylar Todd Simpson, Alexander Jeffrey Smith, Isabel Lauren Smith, Nolan Carter Smith, Joshua Matthew Stanger, Keaton Daniel Stout, Gus Anthony Strewing, William Thomas Sunderman, Dakota Michael Swingle, John Charles Thompson III, Samantha Rose Tonges, Emma Michelle Vimbever, Laura Janet Vest, Evan Thomas Vogelsang, Lauren Alexis Voss, Ronnie J. Werner, Keegan Matthew Weberding, Seth Jerome Weisenbach, Carly Regina Werner, Casey James Werner, Noah Edgar Werner, Abigail Katrine Westerfeld, Vanessa Ann Weston, Caden Edwin White, Kaylee Marie Williamson, Lucas Gregory Wilson, William Ray Wyatt. At this time, the Student Council President, Liz Heilage, will give our closing remarks. Thank you for joining us on this most unusual Batesville High School graduation. Four years ago, when I first started writing this speech, I had no idea I'd be standing in the Bulldog Room with an empty gym behind me, with no families, friends, or students gathered in support. But here we are, just me and a camera. And although this is not the normal format of the graduation we all hoped for, my message to all of you does not change. The class of 2020 will be remembered for graduating in the midst of a global pandemic. I wish I could be standing in front of all 161 of my fellow graduates to say that graduation is so much bigger than walking across the stage and throwing your cap in celebration. Since we can't be together, it is up to you to make it mean as much as you want. Graduation is really about looking back, remembering your favorite classes, the endless adventures with your friends, 
and maybe even laughing about that one time you wiped out in the upstairs hallway in front of Mrs. Campbell's class during passing period. Not that I would know from my own experience. It is a time to reminisce on the taco in a bag, cow zones and taco wedges we've loved for the past four years. We came into high school in the midst of the mannequin challenge, survived our addiction to fidget spinners and the interesting trend of wavy eyebrows. We listened to and heard endlessly about the yodeling kid, and we are leaving during the outbreak of a deadly virus. We're a class of endless different personalities, talents, and hobbies, but we did Batesville High School together. We, the Batesville High School graduating class of 2020, are so much more than a graduating class during a pandemic. We're the producers of not one, but two powder, homecoming powder puff cheerleading dances that may have pushed the limits of good taste. We're the creators of Mr. Hepner's tally board for when he tells us to close our computers numerous times per class. The ones who introduced mayonnaise and mustard dispensers in the cafeteria. The class to eliminate all plastic straws in the school. And the masters of getting back to the high school from Ivy Tech in three minutes. Sorry, Mom and Dad. Because of all of these achievements, I applaud you. The class of 2020 has had four great years of success in academics, athletics, and extracurriculars, such as FFA, Rube Goldberg, and academic team. You deserve the utmost congratulations. But when we meet again in five years at our first class reunion, you will not be remembered for your grades or the recognition you received. You will be remembered for who you are and the work you put in during high school. William Shakespeare once said, some are born great, some achieve greatness, and some have greatness thrust upon them. We cannot count on being born great or having greatness thrust upon us, but always remember, the opportunity to achieve greatness is up to you. As we all move on to new endeavors, whether that be college, the military, trade school, or the workforce, I ask you to remember that some of the greatest leaders and achievers in human history were once just recent high school graduates, just as we are now. You've made it through the freshman fear, the dreaded year of sophomore gym, the many difficulties of 11th grade, and finally, the beast that senioritis truly is. Today begins your chance to study what you want, work doing what you want, and pursue the dreams you have. We all have different passions and aspirations, so this is your chance to chase them and achieve your greatness. As we part ways, I wish you all the very best, and I cannot wait to see what greatness you will achieve. It was written on the back of our homecoming shirts. Class of 2020, our future is clear. We will be the only high school graduating class in history to be able to look back on our senior year with literally 2020 hindsight. Now I ask you to say thank you to your parents and families, to the staff and to your friends for helping you along the way. Class of 2020, after four years, you did it. We did it. We entered Batesville High School, some of us Bulldogs, some Cardinals, some homeschooled, and even some out-of-staters. But after the last four years, we've joined the Bulldog legacy. And once a Bulldog, always a Bulldog. Thank you, and please stay safe. Batesville High School Class of 2020, will you please rise? By the authority vested in me by the state of Indiana, I now pronounce you graduates of Batesville High School. Congratulations.